verse 16. A gang of evil men round me, like a pack of dogs, they close in on me. They turn at my hands and feet. Today I'm going to tell a story. One day the Jessica and her friend were playing in the playground. A very naughty boy called Max said that Jessica was littering. Jessica said, I didn't. So Max challenged her to a fight. Max was very strong. So Jessica prayed and God protected her throughout the fight. The end. No matter what situation it is, God will always be there. I hope you like my story. And don't forget to pray. Psalm 22. My favourite verse is verse 22. In the midst of a church, I will sing to you. I'm going to be singing a song from the Holy Kubana. One Holy Only. Anpure one ninbadri Hallelujah Psalms 22, the prayer of a suffering man. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? You are too far away to save me. You are too far away to hear my moans. My God, I call to you during the day, but you do not answer. I call at night, I am not silent. You sit as the Holy One. The praises of Israel are your throne. Our ancestors called to you for help and they were rescued. They trusted you and they were not disappointed. Everyone who looks at me laughs, they stick up their tongues, they shake their heads, they say, turn to the Lord for help, maybe he will save you, if he likes you, maybe he will rescue you. So don't be far away from me, now trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Men have surrounded me like angry bulls, the strong bulls of Bashan are on every side. Like hungry, roaring lions, they open their jaws at me. My strength is gone, like water poured out onto the ground. My strength has dried up like a piece of broken pot. My tongue sticks to the top of my mouth. You have laid me in the dust of death. Evil men have surrounded me. Like dogs they have trapped me. They have bitten my arms and legs. I can count all my bones. People look and stare at me. They divide my clothes among them and they throw lots for my clothing. Save me from the sword. Save me from the life of save my life from the dog. Rescue me from the lion's mouth. Save me from the horns of the bulls. People everywhere will remember and turn to the Lord. This is because this is because the Lord is the Lord is King. He rules all the nations. They will tell that He does what is right. People who are not yet born will hear what the what, the, what God has gone done. But, this is my favorite psalm because it is a prophecy about what Jesus went through on the cross. My favorite verse is verse one. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because Jesus cried it on the cross. He said this as he was in agony because he was bearing bearing all our sins. Psalm 22 is called a messianic psalm. 
prophesizing the Lord's death and resurrection. Verse 1 says, O God, my God, hear me. Why have you forsaken me? These were one of Jesus' seven sayings on the cross before he died. We read this in St. Matthew chapter 27, verse 4 to 6. In verse 15, we see the prophecy of the thirst of Christ, which we later read in the New Testament in St. John chapter 19, verse 28. Verse 18 prophecies, casting lots, and Jesus' garments being divided. We read this in the New Testament in St. Matthew chapter 27, verse 35. We recite Psalm 22 and sing the hymn in response during the morning prayers on Good Friday. My favourite verses are verses 30 and 31. Future generations will serve him. Men will speak of the Lord to the coming generation. People not yet born will be told. The Lord saved his people. So, how can we apply this in our daily lives? Let us continue to be lighthouses of our Father's love in the places that we are and share our stories of his steadfast grace to our generations to come. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, Through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, you will comfort me, you are with me, you will comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, and we are the sheep. The Lord feeds us. The Lord listens to us. The Lord does everything for us. So here is the Lord on a mountain between, and then here's me saying hi, then a sheep saying ba, and then the water saying gluck, 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 then two paths. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He, he, he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your road and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the, in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you.
இருபத்தி மூணாம் சங்கேத்தனம் யஹோவா எண்டே எடைய நோக்கணும் எனக்கு முட்டந்தாகியலா பச்சையாய புல்புறங்களில் அவனே கெடுத்துணும் சுஸ்திரியெல்லாம் வெள்ளத்தின் அறிகத்தேக்க என்னே நத்துணும் என்னை பிராணனை அவன் தனிப்பிக்கணும் திருநாமன் நிந்தம் இந்த நீதிவாகலில் நத்துணும் கூறல் தாரே கூடிய நன்னாலும் ஞானொரு அனுத்துவம் பயப்படையே இல்லா நீனோடு கூட இருக்கும் வல்லோ நின்று வடையும் கூலும் என்ன ஆசிஸ்பிக்கணும் இந்த சத்துவ காங்க நீ எனக்கு My favorite verse in Psalm 23 is verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. How lovely to realize that God's goodness and mercy following us our whole life. Thank you. Lord be my shepherd. I shall not want he makes me lay down in pasture he restores leads me leads me to calm waters he restores my soul he guides me pasture which is no his name said even though i walk well we don't that well I feel no ill. You are with me. You will walk with me. You will care for me. Because I'm on my enemies. You will not hurt all your might and offer. Surely get a message from me. All day my life. I shall never have a fall of ever ever amen. Up down the foot. Psalm 24 A psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, for he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity? nor sworn deceitful he shall receive the blessings from the lord and righteousness from the god of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face o jacob lift your heads o ye gates and ye lift up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is the king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads o ye gates and lift them up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is the king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory verse that inspired me verse 4 he that hath clean hands and a pure heart how can this be applied in our daily lives we can put our lives in the hands of god this means that we should always trust him Thank you.
king, we bow before you. Lord the king, we thank you for creating this world. Who may stand on your hills? Who can stand in your holy place? And give us strength to cleanse our hearts. Give us wisdom and pure hearts And we will stand before all the world Lord the King, we worship you Lord the King, we bow before you Lord the King, we thank you King and glorious Lord, we stand in front of the door, and we will open the door for you. You will come and stay with us. We'll become temples of the Lord. Lord the King, we worship you. Lord the King, we bow before you. And Lord the King, we thank you for creating this world.
listening. I hope you enjoyed it.